Hey everyone, I'm Brian. I'm Tyler. And we're Gardener in Love. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be showing you some beautiful new perennials from Walters Gardens and Proven Winners. Some of these have been out for a few years. Some of them are brand new this year, but most of these will be coming to garden centers next year in 2023. Yeah, before we get started, we want, just wanted to say thank you so much to Walters Gardens for sending us these out. Um, we will be trialing them, so we are in 7B and it's quite hot already. You probably see a sweat bead right here running down <laughs> my forehead. Um, so we're going to be trialing these here in the hot south region. Um, and I think hopefully they're all successful. I don't want any of them to die because they're so beautiful. Um, but yeah, let's get started. All right, so the first one we're gonna show you is a beautiful new hosta. So this is Shadowland Miss America, and it just has such a gorgeous color. Um, it's mostly a very bright cream color, um, but there's chartreuse in here and even some very dark, sultry green. Um, so this is a foliage plant. That's why people buy hostas, and that's why we have them in the garden. Um, if you've seen our union garden, it is mostly hostas, um, and we just love these. So this one gets about 20 inches tall by about four and a half feet wide. So it really takes up a lot of space in your shade garden. Um, yeah, and it's just so beautiful that I think that it's a really great one. So it's zones three to nine, part shade to shade. And because it's got that bright white color on it, you know it definitely needs that shade or it will burn. Um, and then it just has heart-shaped leaves. And uh, I think we're going to really love this one. It's going to go really great in the garden and be a really great pop of color in the shade garden. All right, next up is a salvia, and this is one that's been out for a few years. This is Pink Perfusion. It's hardy zones three to eight and is best in full sun. Um, it gets about 14 to 16 inches tall, 16 to 20 inches wide. Um, the nice thing about this one is that it is bred to have a perfectly mounded shape, which I really appreciate in the garden. It just makes everything look so tidy. Um, this one grows really dense as well. And the nice thing about salvias is that once they bloom, you can shear them back and they'll bloom again. And sometimes for us in the south, because we have such a long season, you'll get a third bloom. Um, so this one has pink flowers on a uh, pink calyx, uh, which is really nice. You'll still get some kind of color even when the flowers are done. And then once it's completely out of flower, you'll shear it back and in a few weeks, you'll have more blooms shoot up for you. You can find Pink Perfusion at garden centers today. All right, so the next one that we're gonna show you is called Spot On Pulmonaria. And this one I am so excited about because it's very unique and that's just what we're going for this year is a garden full of unique things. Um, so Pulmonaria is a really fun plant. Um, it has spotted leaves um, and it has really beautiful pink buds that age to a blue color of flowers. Um, and this one's definitely for the shade. It has sort of a furry texture on the leaves. Um, and so it's, it's deer resistant in that way because they don't like that texture. Um, and so I'm super excited to grow this one in our shade garden. Okay, now we're going to shift to some brand new plants that will be coming in 2023 to garden centers. First one is a new luminary phlox. This is sunset coral. So pretty. Oh my gosh, look at that bloom, you guys. It is just starting to open up and in person, it is like neon, it's really beautiful. So this is a tall garden phlox. Um, this gets about two and a half feet tall and wide, grows best in a full sun to part sun, and it will eventually over time get into a nice sized clump for you. You can see here we've only got two stalks, uh, but once we get this in the ground, it will bulk up over time. And in a couple of years, we'll have a really nice clump of flowers. Um, we've grown a couple varieties from the Luminary series and the blooms are so big on top, it almost looks like a panicle hydrangea. Um, and I bet this one is gonna do the exact same thing for us. You definitely want to make sure that your phlox has good drainage and you also want to provide good air circulation to this one just to make sure you try to control uh, any disease. 
Uh, so that's a uh, luminary sunset coral. All right, so the next one that we're gonna show you is a Speedwell or Veronica, and I'm super excited about it. This one is called Magic Show Ever After. Um, and it, I'm so excited about this series because um, we have a few in our garden already that we really love growing. But this one specifically, the bloom stalks get about a foot long and the color Holy is cow. just magnificent. So I think it's gonna be a really beautiful show. So just a few details on this one. Uh, it gets about 14 to 16 inches high and about 16 to 20 inches wide. Um, again, we've grown this before, so we know it bulks up. It looks really beautiful in clumps or a, like a drift. Um, and so I think this color is going to be really pretty in the garden. This is part sun to sun, zones four to eight. Um, and I think that in most cases, you'll want to have more sun on this so that the blooms get even larger for you. If it's in the shade, it'll still survive, but it probably just won't bloom quite as much for you. So really, really excited about Magic Show Ever After. Next up is an Agastache. Agastache? I've, so. I've heard it pronounced a bunch of different ways. Uh, but this is Queen Nectarine, and it gets about two and a half to three feet tall and wide. Uh, grows in zones five to nine in full sun. Um, this one has peach colored blooms on sort of a mauve color calyx. Um, and once the blooms are gone, you still have the color on the calyx. So you still have some color out in your garden, uh, which is really nice. Um, and this one is gonna get pretty big. So it's gonna be a statement. So you could have um, just one in your garden or you could plant a drift for a really big impact. This one is heat and drought tolerant and you wanna make sure that you give it good drainage so the roots can breathe. Uh, we have never grown this in our garden before. Mm -hmm and I'm very excited to see how it performs. And peach colored flowers are one of my favorites to add to the garden. So I can't wait to see this in full bloom. Um, some of the blooms are coming out now and it looks like peach ice cream to me. It's really <laughs> cool. All right, so next up is Rockin' Round Bright Idea Sedum. This one's gonna be so beautiful in our garden, especially in a bright, sunny space. Um, we've grown sedum plenty, as I'm sure a lot of you have in your gardens, but um, it's just a go-to because it's so easy. It's like a set it and forget it plant. Um, you don't have to fertilize this. You don't need to overwater this. So you just really don't have to worry about sedum. Um, this one is really unique because it has red stems and then yellow star shaped flowers. Um, and so a lot of sedums have like big seed heads, but very small flowers. So I'm really excited about this one because it's going to have larger flowers. It's going to be a bit, a little bit more of a statement in the garden. So uh, I think we'll probably end up planting this one all by itself, but we'll end up getting a drift later on. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, our last new plant for you guys is a bee balm. This is upscale red velvet, and it will be available next year in garden centers. Gets about two and a half feet tall and wide. It grows in zones four to eight, and it's best for part sun to sun areas. This has really large cherry colored flowers, and this is actually the tallest variety in this series of bee balm. The new foliage has sort of a bronzy kind of cast to it, um, and it is also well branched so that you'll get a second flush of flowers. So you want to grow this in rich soil, so you want to make sure you add your biotone, your plant tone to this when you're getting it in the ground, but it will also grow in ordinary soil if you don't have any of that on hand. Most importantly, you want to make sure you provide good air circulation for this plant. So you don't want to plant it uh, clumped together with a bunch of other things. Otherwise, it may get um, some disease or powdery mildew. Um, good air circulation is going to help you keep this perennial in your garden for years to come. All right, so last but not least is a Heaven Sent Jacob's Ladder. So you guys have heard us talk about this before. We planted a few of these in a video a while back, and it looks so beautiful in our garden. It's just the, the leaf and the foliage texture is so beautiful. It's got this sort of like grassy mounding ladder effect. Um, and then the blooms, which this one has a little bloom on it now, um, are just this gorgeous grape color, um, and they smell like grape too. Mm -hmm. um, so we are so excited to pop this one in the garden. We have two, and so of course we need a third, and Walters was so nice to send us a third. Um, so we will be popping this in the garden soon. Um, and this one is for zones three to seven. Now obviously we are in zone seven, so if you're on the cusp like us, you wanna put this in shade, 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 especially away from afternoon sun. 
All right, so that is it for all of our plants from Walters Gardens. Thank you so much again, Walters, for sending these out. We are so excited to trial them in our space and see how they do uh, and report back, hopefully all good news. Um, and we're also ex really excited to see how they pair with the other plants in the garden and how they sort of play off of each other, how the pollinators like all these plants. So there's a whole lot that goes into seeing if you like a plant or not. Um, and I'm sure we're gonna like all of these a lot. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel to get all of our content updates. As for now, we're gonna sign off and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye